Let's talk about the essentials. Essential means we need it to live. It may surprise you, but certain kinds of fats are essential. But all fats are not the same. Steak has fat, ice cream has fat, bad for you fat. That's a no-brainer. But did you know that olives have fat? So does salmon and walnuts? Those are good for you fats. The type of fat you can eat really impacts your health. Good fats are monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, while bad fats are saturated and trans fats. Monounsaturated fats can lower LDL or bad cholesterol and increase HDL or good cholesterol. High levels of bad cholesterol are linked to heart disease, so monounsaturated fats may help protect the heart. Some foods that contain these heart-healthy fats are nuts like almonds and pecans and seeds like pumpkin and sesame. Avocados are high in this good fat too. Another good fat is polyunsaturated fat. Omega-3 fats are a kind of polyunsaturated fat. Your body can't make them and has to get them from the foods you eat. These good fats can lower bad cholesterol and help prevent heart disease and stroke. It may also decrease inflammation, which plays a role in many chronic conditions. You can get omega-3 fats by eating fish two or three times a week, or from liquid oils like flaxseed, canola, and soybean oil. Saturated fat is another story altogether. Now we're talking about bad fats. Our bodies can make all the saturated fat we need, so we don't need to eat anymore. And saturated fat can raise bad cholesterol levels. Foods that tend to be high in saturated fat are animal products like red meat, poultry with the skin, whole milk, and butter. So what about butter versus margarine? Not so long ago, we were urged to use margarine instead of butter because butter was loaded with saturated fat and cholesterol. But margarine then got a bad rap too. Why? Many margarines, especially the hard sticks, were made with trans fats, and researchers discovered they're even worse than saturated fat. So whenever possible, skip both butter and margarine and use a liquid vegetable oil like olive oil in cooking and at the table. But if you want something spreadable, margarine is a better choice, as long as you pick a soft margarine without any trans fat. Trans fats have been in the headlines a lot. They're so bad, some cities have banned them in restaurant food. Eating even a small amount of trans fat is unhealthy. It raises bad cholesterol, lowers good cholesterol, and contributes to inflammation. They can increase your risk for heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. Trans fats are man-made and found primarily in packaged foods like baked goods and many fried fast foods. You might be shocked to know that food companies, although they have to label foods that contain trans fats, are allowed to add up to half a gram of trans fats per serving and still call it zero on the label. Look for words hydrogenated, partially hydrogenated, or shortening. Those mean trans fat. The truth is, the American diet has way too many bad fat and not enough good fats. So here's how you fix this. Avoid trans fats altogether and limit saturated fat. Work to replace red meat with nuts, beans, skinless poultry, and fish whenever possible. And choose low-fat dairy products. And remember, use vegetable oils instead of butter or margarine. At the end of the day, you want to get your calories from nutrient-rich foods with the right balance of all the essentials.